15, they have Cleveland. So, oh, oh, yeah. Don't do that, that, that. That's the Super well, Bowl man. of the ages. <laughs> First one, to, first one to ten wins. Yeah. <laughs> Five, two, nine, fourteen, fifty is the phone number. Let's get Stack's record here on, on the line, and then, then we'll move on. Good morning, on Fantasy Football 101. Go ahead. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> uh, the Big Peanut League, I'm in uh, nine and one. Yep. yep. Z is uh, eight and two in two leagues and six and four in another. Oh, not too bad. Oh. Not too bad. The Big League, I don't think. Yeah. Uh-huh. Six and four leagues. Oh, well. <laughs> but... Well, uh, next year, we're going to what we said last year. All right, yeah, we'll get stacked in one of our leagues for sure. Mark, I think we might have an opening in ours. We have two guys, definitely, uh, you know, Casey and Dutch, I think, might be out next year. So, oh, we might have an opening in ours. Oh, oh. two yeah, openings. If, if, if one for me, one for stacked. <laughs> there if you, you guys go. want to serve, then, you know, give me oh, a I can't wait. Are you a waiter? <laughs> I, I do appreciate <laughs> the, have, the use of the word <laughs> serve there. We have to have <laughs> our draft where you work. <laughs> yeah, I will be handing your guys a you-know-what if you want to. Uh, uh, <laughs> nice. Craig, you still got my email? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. If you guys have an opening, let me know, man. I'll get it for sure. All right. Thanks for your call. Thanks, Five two nine fourteen fifty is the phone number. And on the web at sportsradio1450.com. We've had some internet issues, not online, but we have uh, updated the website. We will update the website again uh, this week and make sure all the injuries are up there for you guys to check. Uh, before kickoff on Sunday. Everyone knew about the Ronnie Brown injury, or I hope you didn't play Ricky Williams in your leagues because Ricky had a huge, huge day. But let's talk about some of the injuries that are more significant for this week. Uh, Michael Turner, listed as doubtful, but does does it look like he's going to play as Mark, or excuse me, as Eric hangs his head and Mark shakes his? Uh, I'm just, I'm lucky that I, uh, I mean, weeks and weeks ago, because I'm I'm a big believer in the handcuffing, and I've had, I drafted Norwood, but He's been out pretty much all season. So a long time ago, I went and picked up Jason Snell. There you go. And okay. I just had him on my bench waiting. So now he's in my lineup, and he looked really good last week. So Yeah, that was a good pickup. Yeah, I'm starting Jason Snelling. And now, Nick, you don't feel as bad for trading Michael Turner. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Thank you, fantasy guy. I do. <laughs> I do have a fantasy question, a personal fantasy. Is that? A, do we have any callers? Can I Can I ask you guys Go right for now? It. Yeah. I, uh, like I said, I have Snelling, and he's in. Now, I kind of need to decide between Beanie Wells and Pierre Thomas. That's a tough decision for me. It's, it's really, usually I have a starting lineup that I plug out, you know, I plug in every week. No questions asked. But this week, I, you know, Beanie Wells has been looking good. Pierre Thomas. With Bush being Not so iffy. much. Yeah, but with Bush being iffy, maybe I should stick with Pierre, huh? I was, I was thinking that myself. He was almost going to be my sleeper, but I thought I'd go a little bit even further. Off the radar. Yeah. <laughs> He had yeah, such I'll, an I'll awful go, week last week. I'll go Pierre. He's going to get carries and catches this yep. week. Okay. All right. Let's take a phone Thank call. You. Five two nine fourteen fifty. Sounds so relieved. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football 101. Go ahead. Hey, guys. I'm looking for some positive affirmation that I'm doing the right thing. All here. right. Okay. Uh, um, my running back situation was that I lost Brian Westbrook, Donald Brown, and the Jets backup all in one week earlier in the year. Mm, yep. Okay. I've used nine different running backs and <laughs> seven different starting combinations wow. now. Holy crap. My receiving core, I've got Larry Fitzgerald, Wes Welker, Donald Driver, uh, Dallas Clark, Austin Colley. So you're fine. I got offered for Larry Fitzgerald, Richard Mendenhall, Tim Hightower, and either Vernon Davis or Steve Smith from the Giants. Oh, man. Sign it. I, I I hate to give up Fitzgerald, but I think I've got a bite on that. <laughs> yeah, you have to because you, you need running backs. backs. Well, you need running backs. Uh, well, who are your current running backs, though? I mean, right, well, it, I managed to pick up uh, Jamal Charles, although he doesn't have a very good schedule the rest of the year. I don't no, think. No, right, you're right. And uh, Liddell Betts, who may or may not be around the rest of the year. Who knows with with Portis? But his schedule's not real friendly either. Wow, boy, you, you know. You, you kind of almost have to make the trade, you know, just because you're so depleted at running back. But what's your man, record? I don't really like the way that's leaving you at receiver, though. Welker is really your only solid. I mean, Driver's having a decent year, but Welker, Driver, Clark, Conley, well, and Clark's a tight end, obviously. Um, and then he's also get getting back. Vernon Davis. Do you have a flex where you can 
Can you played, play two tight ends? You played Vernon our, and yeah, uh, our wide receivers and tight ends are, are interchangeable, so I can oh, play all okay. tight ends. Nice. If I need it. Okay, yeah. so you're not that weak that makes, at wide out. That yeah. makes it even better. Then yeah, I, I definitely uh, pull the trigger. Pull, oh, absolutely. That and I'm thinking with Vernon Davis, our our playoffs are the last two weeks of the year, and the Giants have Detroit and St. Louis those two weeks. <laughs> oh, or I mean the Niners. Do yeah. That, so. Right. Right. <clears throat> oh yeah, I yeah, think I think it's a good deal for you. That's that's oh. what I needed, just some confirmation on that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's painful letting go of Fitzgerald, though, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, he was my number one pick. Oh so yeah, for good reason. He hasn't put up. I mean, he's put up solid numbers, but nothing big this year, really, except for uh, two weeks ago. Yep, that was the week so. I was ripping on him. And the, <laughs> for the record, the week I told the caller to plug him in, just no big, no big deal, no big deal. Well, I appreciate the help. Oh, and overall, I'm five and five, and sitting in a tie for second place. It's a very yeah. mediocre record across the board. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. So hang in there. You sure do. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good Thank luck. Thanks for the phone call. Five two nine one four five zero. We do need to take a break. Let's take one more call before we take that first break. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football One Hundred One. Go ahead. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Good. I'm uh, heading down to see the Jones Mahal later today for the Redskin game tomorrow. Cool. Nice. Well, I sat Miles Austin because I'm playing Andre Johnson and Larry Fitzgerald. Um, oh, I have a question about defense. Um, I've got the Steelers going against Kansas City or Cincinnati against the Raiders. I mean, they both look good, but I can only play one. And uh, I would like to give a shout-out to Rochester later on. they go beat Metamora. Yeah. Thank no, you. No problem, much. sir. Um, yeah, we'll be rooting for the Rockets as well. We'll have that game for you. We'll have uh, pregame starting at noon. Here on Sports Radio 1450 as Rochester travels to Metamora. Pitt or Cincy? Boy, coin flip. Yeah, um, I mean, you can't miss, though. No, exactly. Both good defenses to start this week. Um, I, if, if, I was, if I was that caller, I would, I would just look and see which one of those Ds has scored more fantasy points this season and plug them in because, I mean, there's really no good way to pick between those two. I mean, how are you going to do any better than that? Now, I'll, I'll say one thing. Pittsburgh is a little more consistent. Cincinnati has tendency to not show up for games that they should win. Both of them are on the road, playing very, very poor teams. Cincinnati, I think at this stage of the year, has a ch- has more of an opportunity and a better chance to get turnovers than Pittsburgh does. Although that's, Palomalo's out. This that's, yeah, yeah. that's true. But they're that's, playing Oakland. That's the, uh, Talk uh, about consistent. Uh, Oakland is consistently n- awful. Not only will Cincinnati uh, do a good job at getting turnovers, Oakland will help them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but I, I'd, I'd go with Cincinnati. You could, like, like the guy said, you can't lose either way. Nope. But I'd go Cincinnati. Lots more to get to. Stay tuned to Fantasy Football 101. We're going to take a quick break. We'll meet you right back here on Sports Radio 1450. Bring in this holiday season at Memorial Medical Center.